and feeding of werewolves. Season 1, The Recap. Hello, and welcome to Care and Feeding of Werewolves, a podcast addressing issues and current events in the paranormal community. I'm your host, Hazel Thornton. As you're probably already aware, my grandmother recently disappeared. Witches are beings swathed in mystery. With remor- this is a public service announcement. You are far more likely to become the prey of the Fae than you are their lover. Yes, you. I don't care how pretty they are or how convinced you are holding into that bottle and slap the vagina looking fruit out of me. Yeah, just looking at that thing gives me a friggin' headache. <laughs> what the hell did you do to her? Can you help her? <laughs> You know what? We're doing something different. Great. I'm stuck babysitting a research lab. Meh, could be worse. I mean, they do own my entire ass. Better to be bored, I guess. Wait, they want me to what? What the fuck? This is some Island of Dr. Moreau shit. What do I do? If I try to bail, I get to be one of the experiments. Nana! Oh, Nana! Oh, Nan! Oh, man, this ain't right. I better call Hazel. Hazel! Oh, Hazel! What? Nana's gone? Nana can't be gone! I can take a break for my residency. I can totally go back and finish it, right? Right. My dad is going to kill me. Fuck. Where do I even start? What am I doing? Uh, let's start a podcast because that's a great idea on top of everything else. It'll, it'll be good. I can disperse valuable information and news. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Do 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 do. I'm a typical teenager just minding my own business. Help! I've been kidnapped. Uh, where am I? I really don't know what's going on here. What are they doing to me? Why do I suddenly have a semi-feral mini-dragon? Nana's going to kill me. I go on a holiday road trip with my buddy Lemmy and witness a Festivus miracle. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the... What the fuck? Oh, and supernatural variants of colds, flu, and other things are gross. Fuck. I have to do an autopsy on the guy who babysat me when I was a kid. I was wrong. I can't do this. I know nothing. Don't let the patients see you panic. Med school did not prepare me for this. By the way, the Fae may seem cool and all, but you could get eaten in a non-sexy fashion. Hey, don't be a Karen. Okay, I can at least smuggle this kid out. But where can I take them? The granddaughter of the witch I kidnapped will know how to help them. This can't possibly backfire on me. Who was that? How does he do that? What is he? Nazi? Magically null? Fascist freak? Hey! Tell me I'm wrong. He's totally going to kill me, isn't he? What do you mean I can't go home or see my family? You're saying I'm seriously stuck like this? I'm a freak who can never go outside again. I am way too young to have a kid, and a traumatized one at that. Wait, they're summoning demons? Aw, they're a chip off the old block. These weirdos aren't so bad. And they don't get mad about bloodstains on the ceiling. And I get a pet dragon. 
I suddenly feel the need to apologize to Nana for ever having been a teenager. Magic isn't a magical panacea. It can't fix everything. Angry dragons, even miniature ones, are bad news. Lift with your knees, not your back, and don't twist while carrying things. Give me answers, you magicless freak. How'd you find me in this very public place filled with lots of witnesses? Magic. Now tell me what I want to know or I'll make a scene. But first, I'm going to threaten you and not at all because you scared the bejeebus out of me. They're using your grandma to help their imprisoned lab rats survive. How do I get them out? I'm too much of a resigned coward to tell you anything, but ultimately it's about making humans less vulnerable to supernaturals. I'm going to run off all mysterious like now. Practice safe for sex, folks. I'm an anal retentive bastard who wants more kids to play Frankenstein with. I technically have a name, but I'm almost always called Frank. Even the creators would have to look up my name. Nope, I'm out. Don't care if they kill me at this point, I'm done. Crap. I have to go wake up a witch who really doesn't like me because I've suddenly developed a conscience. Gestapo freaks on my doorstep and wants to kablooify Frankenstein's castle? What even is my life? I'm not a morning person to begin with, so I'm going to rip into you even as you ask me to help rescue the prisoners with jobs. I'm still not scared of you. Can I kill the fascist? Eh, he's useful for now. Crap. I have to plan a SEAL Team 6 assault. Good thing a whole army of monsters owes me or Nana favors. Though, this means cooperating with a guy who I'm pretty sure kidnapped my Nana and the kid who he did help rescue and why am I still in my pajamas? How do we know this isn't a trap? Because it'd be a terrible trap. I could come up with a better one in my sleep. There are other sites because Perthro's big and we have several seasons planned out, but we can at least stop this one. Blah, 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 description of facility and plotting. What the fuck's he doing here? Plotting mayhem, revenge, and a little wanton destruction. The last one's just for funsies. And making sure we have our affairs in order. Does everyone have their advanced directives? Boring ethics debate about killing eugenicists versus giving them to demons for torture coming from the guy who gave demons to a eugenicist to torture. How could someone be so evil? Because the main writer isn't very good at coming up with original human rights violations and knows a lot about history, which is plenty full of heinous deeds committed by powerful people. It's not so far-fetched to imagine that what's been done to human minorities might be done to fictional non-humans, but we're not going to pretend that it's new while ignoring harm that's been done by the medical community. I'll just take these sedatives with me and I'll see you in a few days. I'm just going to have a little mental breakdown, you know, as a treat. Aw, your first fireball! You've been practicing. I'm so proud of you. What if something happens to you guys? They can do Jedi mind tricks on you. This is about as soft and fluffy as this show gets. Sure, there was screaming and crying. And fireballs. And puking. But there's a group hug, too. Don't get drunk and cast spells in languages you don't speak from books you picked up at a flea market. Hey, let's deviate slightly from the plan. We don't trust Malcolm that much. This is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Why did I go to civilians for help? They're just going to end up getting even more people killed, including themselves. A wound. I know what to do with that. It probably says something about me that I'm calmer when someone's bleeding. Well, you're not completely useless. You hurt Julia. I will turn you all into a smear of goo on the wall. Uh, did my alignment just drop the good-ish part of neutral good-ish? No time for that now. 
was in that dart. Don't mind me, just internally screaming for a little bit. You know, as a treat. Oh, shit, don't die. I'm too young to be a parent. <laughs> I am an evil genius. I claim to be pure logic and superior to you emotionally driven creatures, even though I'm prejudiced as hell. Nor do I realize how much of a stereotype I am as I rehash every human rights violation in recent history. But by definition, you're not actually a human because of your biology. Oh good. My reinforcements are here. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Ow, ow, fuck, ow. Huh. Do I leave Blackwater Bitch to bleed out? I mean, his alignment shifted from lawful bastard to, well, less of a bastard. And he did save my ass. I'm getting too old for this shit. You're barely middle aged. Wait, then how can she be your grandma? Longer lifespans. Over the summer, I grew horns. And I joined this homeschooling group with other kids who can't go to human school. Like, there's a couple of centaurs in my class. I keep running the garden while Nana recovers. And I can't let anyone know how rattled I am. I can't let anyone know how rattled I am. My magic is gone. Now I'm rattled. We're all as rattled as a toddler's maraca, but I'm sure next season will be a... Don't a say it! Say it. Piece of cake. Uh. <laughs> yeah. oh. get, get, did, no. That's it. You're fired. No. You're fired. <laughs> We're done. I'm going uh. back. <laughs> get out! Thank you for listening. Care and Feeding of Werewolves will be back October 1st.